This is the Iowa Weather Report for Monday, November 4th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have some energy moving through the Dakotas into Minnesota, and that could bring a very isolated shower, mainly north of about Highway 20 or maybe Highway 30. Otherwise, there could be a peak of sunshine to the south of, of there, with highs today about the same as yesterday, 50s to maybe around 60 degrees, with some southerly winds that won't be as strong, we'll add that for a fact. But we have another system coming down here on Tuesday, and this will be from the southwest. This will be a combination of Gulf of Mexico moisture, moisture from the remnant of Tropical Storm Sonia. And this will con conglomerate into a big system with some rain and even a bit of snow. This is the probability of snow from 6 p.m. this evening through 6 p.m. Wednesday evening. This is a four inches of snow or more, and you can see southwestern Minnesota, far northwest Iowa into Nebraska could see that. And when we look at the Wednesday noon time period, the 540 line is dissecting the state from about mm, Osage down to Hamburg. The areas north and west of that could still see some light snow or flurries, rain to the south and east, but it cools down here Thursday down into the 40s for highs to maybe near 50. Lows likely below, below, uh, below freezing at this point, maybe 20s to low to mid 30s with lows. It will warm back up, though, as this progressive, quick-moving pattern continues. Winds back to the south Friday, boosting the temperatures back into at least the 50s. But another storm system will be approaching. This one much weaker and a little further to the north may just skim the state with maybe an isolated shower Friday night. By Saturday, it's gone into the Great Lakes, Lake Superior, in the northern parts of Lake Michigan. It does cool back down to around the upper uh, mid-40s to low 50s. That looks to be the same Sunday, maybe a degree or two warmer as high pressure will be over Wisconsin. Sunday morning could be quite cool. But it will quickly warm up with mainly sunny skies. But another storm is off to the west. And by a uh, week from today, which is Veterans Day, we have a trough moving in with some energy into northern California and some over the northern Rockies. We have pretty much a west to west southwesterly flow aloft, ridge over the Gulf. And the Gulf will start to open up and there could be an isolated shower late in the day next Monday. Better chances of any precipitation near the U.S.-Canadian border and well out to our west, especially California and Oregon. Going into the extended period on November the 15th, we have a trough, and this looks to be a decent trough through the Great Lakes with some energy coming around it. Otherwise, it's going to look fairly cold if this is to be right. This could be quite substantially cold. Highs maybe around 40 or cooler. Lows in the 20s or cooler with some snow and rain well off to our east. That could affect us a day or two prior to this. At the end of the forecast, on the 19th, we have pretty much a flow coming out of the west at this point. A little bit out of the south and west. And with that, we could see some, well, a little bit of precipitation, rain or mountain snow in the northwest, rain over the Ohio Valley in the southeast, and nothing much around here except slightly warmer temperatures by that point. When we take a look at the satellite image from last evening, you can see the moisture already coming up from what is now Tropical Storm Sonia that's making its landfall uh, in the northwestern part of Mexico, it's streaming up into the Midwest and another system in the West. You can see the watch warning map shows frost and freeze advisories in Alabama and Georgia. A winter storm watch in Minnesota and Wisconsin. We'll see if that gets expanded and some winter weather issues in the northern Rockies. QBF chart, precipitation over the next five days. This goes through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, showing any rainfall or snowfall could be in excess of about seven, three quarters of an inch to maybe two inches of rain with isolated heavier totals. Now, when we take a look at this, this is way out there. This is looking at Thanksgiving Day. This is on a climate prediction model, and this shows some rain and snow possible on Thanksgiving Day, so this could be interesting. Don't take this as a forecast. This is Christmas morning. It looks to be bitterly cold, if this is to be right, with some showers and maybe a thunderstorm well off to our south and east and some snow over the Great Lakes. 